Hello, steam it. Hello, YouTube. Crypto G here, coming at you with another Grow Together Blender video tutorial. Um, I'm just uh, just been messing about with some ice effects, and I've, the reason I haven't done a tutorial in a while is because obviously Blender is quite intense. Uh, it's in at the deep end, and I'm I'm learning this at the same time as you guys. And so really, I was just trying to sharpen my skills a bit before I try and pass them on. Now, what you're looking at here is a pretty low render of uh, some an ice effect, obviously, with text, with just the words ice. And when I render out the final image, that'll be a, a lot nicer. But um, I just thought I would, yeah, just show you how to do that. So let's get on with with it basically um let's start off first of all by going and choosing new uh, reload setup file which is what you see here uh, make sure that you are selected on the cube and press x or i'm oh, sorry and press delete and then you get uh, the menu you can press x as well go up to here just so that we don't forget let's go on to cycles render okay so now we're going to get our add menu, which you can get uh, down here as well, add, uh, just down here on the left. But we're just going to say shift and A gives us add. We can let go of that. We're going to say text. Let's come down here, text. There we go. Now we want to, I'm going to zoom in with the wheel there. Now we want to turn that into... Uh, edit mode from object to edit so that we can type something. I'm going to hit backspace and I'm going to type in capitals the word I space C E for ice. Now I finished that, don't have to hit return or anything, I just come back to object mode. Now I want to rotate it so I want it to stand up and the way I want it, to, which means I want to rotate it around this red axis here, which is the x axis. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press R, which stands for rotate. And you see we can rotate around like that. But then if I press X, it'll lock it to the X axis. Um, and I can do it manually. Or I can just simply type 90 on my keyboard. Okay, I'm going to hit return. Okay, just a quick matter of settings here before we carry on. Just come up to here, file... Just use a preference, um, go on to uh, input, make sure that we've got select with left on, so that you're selecting with the left click, and also make sure that we emulate the number pad. Yeah, so that's ticked. I've got that as my default. Um, if you want to have that as your default, then when you've done that, just come down here, say file, and say um, load factory settings. Uh, sorry, save startup file, and it'll save that for you. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now we need to add some depth to it. Um, so what we're gonna do is come up here and we're gonna press the F key for our text, and then we're gonna come down to extrude. You can click, left click, and just drag to the right, and we're gonna drag up to 0 0.1 when we get close. We'll just use the uh, arrow keys at the end here. Then we're going to add a bevel and we're gonna to go to 0 0.05. So I'm gonna again left click and I'm just gonna drag around until it's roughly there. And then uh, I'm gonna just use my arrows. You could of course just type it in, but uh, this is the way I like to do it. And then resolution, we're going to go for a resolution of 7. So we're just going to drag that up to 6, 7, oops, 7. There we go. Okie dokie. Now we are finished with that. We now need a plane for our text to sit on. So we're going to say Shift A, Mesh, Plane. There we go. Then I'm going to press the S button. I'm going to hit 5 on my keyboard and hit return, which has scaled it up five times. Now I'm going to hit one on my keyboard, and this is where we're, why we emulate the number pad. We're gonna to change to uh, orthographic mode, which is five, 
uh, zoom in slightly and I'm just going to grab the blue arrow here and I'm just going to move the plane down till it's till the C is just sitting on it because the C is a different shape you'll notice that uh, there's a gap uh, between the other letters but that's that's fine that's what you want because you don't want to touch the other letters because otherwise they'll also sort of start poking through the bottom here okay so I'm going to just hit one to go back to that view and zoom out slightly right now the next thing we need is we need a cube uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to create a water sensation and so we need uh, a domain for that water so sense uh, but Pardon me, we need a domain for that water effect to happen within. So we're going to go Shift A and we're going to say Mesh and come down to Cube. There we go. Um, and then we want to be able to see what we're doing. So we're going to say Wireframe. There we go. And we're just going to grab the red arrow here, come up to here. Then we're going to say S for sugar or for scale and then on the keyboard you're just going to type 1.2 and you're going to hit return remember you don't have you're not typing that anywhere you're just typing and we're going to just bring up the bottom of the cube to just under the bottom of the plane there that we added okay now I'm going to just press shift and mouse button and just scale that down um, just pan that down rather so I can see the whole thing okay then what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a point here by right clicking just over the box and we're going to add a surface a, a plane rather so mesh plane that's it um, we're going to stay in this uh, materials tab here make sure you're on cycles render if, if your screen here looks different when you choose this it's probably because you're on blender render okay so I'm going to click new and this time I'm going to click on diffuse and I'm going to come down to uh, emission emission here which turns it into a light and I'm going to drag I'm going to click and I'm going to drag to the right until we're on around 20. And then I'll just finish off the last bit with my arrows. 19, 7, 8, 9, 20. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is to um, turn this into a mesh. Ah, but before we do that, we're just going to choose our plane by clicking on it. And we're going to give that a standard diffuse white uh, background but also what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the world view which is just up here the little globe uh, because by default the color of the world the background basically anything that isn't the lettering or the table we've got it standing on and the light of course will just be gray so we want that a little different uh, we're going to bring that up to just over half oops just over halfway on the slider and then we're going to just slide straight up and we're going to choose uh, this blue okay right now what we want to do is we want to um, create our effect our little animation so we're going to click on our lettering and we're going to say alt c and we're going to say mesh from curve okie dokie now we're going to come up to our physics tab here and we're going to say fluid and when it says which type of fluid we want we want a fluid type of fluid okay now we're going to click on the box that we've created uh, anytime you have trouble clicking on these because it's a little thin, as you can see here, you can click on the various things here. So if I click on cube here, it lights up. So now we're going to say fluid and this time we're going to say domain. OK, right. So now we're going to turn up the resolution to 100. Obviously, the better the resolution, the better anim animation will be, but the longer your computer will take to 
uh, render or bake the simulation as they call it. We only want um, a very short animation, so we're going to turn this down to 0.1. I'll just click here, there we go, 0.1. And there we go, we are ready for that. I'm just making sure I haven't forgotten anything in this bit. No. Nope. Okay, so we've set the um, we've set the animation. We've set everything we want in here. Now all we need to do is set the camera view. So we're going to go zero, um, and I'm just going to pan. Uh, oops, sorry, no. We're going to press zero, and then we're going to come view. I'm going to say properties, and we are going to lock, no, we're not going to lock the camera view. We're going to, yes, we're going to lock camera to view, which now means I'm controlling the camera. So I'm just going to come in here, get it nicely kind of centered how I want. Okay, so now we've lined that up. I just went away for a second there while uh, I was just lining up. You might want to sort of get it, you know, how you want. The last thing we want to do is to come down to the end frame here. You'll see right at the bottom of the screen, we've got start at one, end at 250. We don't need that many frames. So I'm just gonna scale it right back uh, to around 20, I reckon. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so now we're all done. We've set the resolution to 100. Um, now let's come to our... I oh know, sorry, now we're going to bake the actual simulation. Okay, and that's going to take a few seconds and you'll just see up here uh, it's taking a bit longer than usual because I'm recording the screen. Okay, you join me now just as it's just finished there. And now if you want to see the effect, you just grab this green thing. Now, this is one of the foibles of Blender, of course, to select things here. We've changed it up in our user preferences that we just click left click to select things. But now when we're down on here and you click left click on the little thing, you're like, ah, what's going on? Nothing happens. You've got to click right click. And as you right click, you can see there, oops, sorry, there we see there, that is the effect that we've just created. Now, obviously, I don't want it right down there because then the letters become illegible. Um, I want it sort of around there. Yep. So just beginning to just beginning to melt. So let's take that a little bit further. There we go. OK, so now I'm happy with that. I might change my camera view slightly, you know, um, to get the effects now. You'll notice when you render, the camera angle will very much depend on the reflections of the ice and what have you. So you might just want to play around with that quite a bit. Okay, so the next thing now is these. this effect we've created is not the original, uh, uh, not the original letters. These are the original letters. And as you can see here, we've got text. So what you want to do is... We don't want the camera to pick it up when we render our final image. So we're going to turn that off and we don't particularly want to see them in front of our effects. So we're going to click on the eye. Now we're going to create a, an, uh, a material for our effect. Yeah. OK, so and in fact, you see how it's 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 calling itself cube because it's within inside that cube. Okay, so let's go to the materials tab, which is the little ball up here. We're going to say new, and now we're going to choose glass. Now you can you can mess around with this. If you go to the preview, um, you can see if you change the roughness. I don't know if you can see that it gets a bit rougher. Um, I'm going to slide that back down to zero. Um, IOR is the internal reflection and uh, the various angles of reflection, internal angle of reflect, reflection. Um, oh, no, that's actually, what was that on? That was on point four. I'm actually going to do undo, 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 undo. And there we go. So it was on 1.4. It starts off on 1.4. So I'm going to turn down the roughness to zero. Okay, I've selected that by mistake. There we go. Click out of that. There we go. Z. 
zero. Okay, so I'm messing about here. So you can you can mess about with that and to get the ice effect that you want, essentially. Right, now let's go to render. And you can render out a very quick image here. You can leave the defaults. It's set at the sampling set at uh, one two eight, I do believe. Where are we? Sampling. Yeah, one two eight. To so leave that on preview thirty two, and just simply hit render. Okay, and as we can see, we're rendering out here. It's about ten percent done. It's going to be a while. I'm not just going to talk over this all the way. I will bring you back in a second. Okay, there we go, Steam It. There's our little sample render there. And, you know, you would check that, check the for the angles, you know, your camera angle. And as you can see there, the world, we turn the world color to blue. So that's the background. And as you can see here, you see the way the... Uh, the, re the internal reflection there has just refracted the light there. Lovely effect there. And that will very much depend on what the angle of your camera is, how high up, high low, you know, because you've got to remember you've got a nice big light source shining directly down and reflecting off this uh, white surface. So you're going to get all sorts of nice reflections depending on how you move the camera and also depending on how rough you make it and what have you. Um, you might notice these little kind of sharp edges here um, where it looks like the bevel hasn't been smoothened properly. Now, um, you you know, those can look nice. Those can look like those little ice defects that you get, um, but you can smooth those out. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Um, so we'd hit escape. Uh, let's escape out of this view. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to lock, unlock the camera. In fact, we don't need to actually, because we can just come over here and we can just hit smooth. Simple as that. Now we can render it again. Okay, there we go, Steam It. That's how it looks um, when we've hit the smooth button. So now you can see now where we had those jagged edges, it's kind of a bit smoother. Um, you see these little white dots here. That will improve, obviously, as you up the sampling rate. But also, um, if we do some little clamping on that, whereby we clamp at around, yeah, at around 0.1, I reckon 0.14 something like that yeah 0.1 oh it won't go to four that's that's interesting i'm looking at, uh, it goes up in threes okay 0.12 um would be good i think um but yeah just mess about with that and there you go you've done it now when you've finished make sure that your um is it function lock i'm not sure but just make sure your f keys are enabled because you will then just hover your mouse over the picture press f3 you will get this here obviously put it to whatever documents you want you can save that as a as an image and put put that where you want and off you go right so i'm going to render out something nice i'll probably mess about with some of these settings i'm going to do a few renders when i finally do render out i'm going to come here to the sampling and I'm going to render here, change this value up to at least 500. But uh, I'll probably do it for a few thousand because, uh, you know, I'll leave this going. I've got, I'm going to go out later, so I'll, I'll leave it. I'll do a few thousand. So even if it takes an hour to render, it doesn't matter. And I'll, I'll tag it on to the end of the video. But I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial, YouTube and Steam it. And uh, I hope it's given you ideas to do some cool effects. I, I, I particularly am really excited about this. So, yeah, thank you, Steamit, and see you later. Bye-bye.